Hello everyone, I'm Ravi Mishra. Today I'm going to walk through the complete product development lifecycle as a product manager view. How the PDLC looks like, what is the daily life of a product manager, I will also take you into the real life problem solving scenario. Before starting the session, I would like to thank to Sunan from Career Talk for giving me this wonderful opportunity to share my experience. This session is going to help to all BAs, product owner, product manager, scrum masters, and many others who really wants to know more about the product development lifecycle and to end. This is me, I'm Ravi Mishra working as a product manager. I have overall 12 years of experience into this IT industry. Before moving to this product manager role, I started uh, my professional journey into the PCS functions. Then I moved into the consulting. The best part of my past experience was which helped me for PM role that was customer facing, stakeholder management, requirement gathering, consulting. Only the part which was missing in my previous role that uh, was I was not owning the complete product development lifecycle. Since I was very focused towards this role, I started engaging myself for the product development related discussions. I was engaging myself with this uh, R&D team, attending multiple workshops, webinars related to PM and uh, uh, seminars. So this all helped me uh, to be a PM and eventually I moved into this uh, project manager role. Now I have six plus years of experience into this uh, PM. And uh, most importantly, I want to highlight, uh, we need some set of skill sets for a PM and uh, we need ability to know how to connect the dots while problem solving. So these all the things which we are going to see in this session. Here is PDLC, Product Development Lifecycle. Most of us already know about this PDLC. I'll give a very high level overview on this uh, slide. So basically what product is product, it can be hardware or it can be a software, which is going to give a value to a customer or end user. And the PDLC is describing the multiple stages through which the product will go. And uh, majorly, uh, there are the four stages in PDLC. One is introduction, then growth, and then we have a maturity, and finally decline. But in this, what we are going to see, we have market research, where we, as a product manager, I'm going to see who is my target audience, what is my market, how the market trend is, who all of my competitors, that all information we are going to collect it, and we are coming with some ideas. Then we will go with the requirement gathering where we are going to have a requirement gathering sessions with multiple stakeholders, your internal stakeholders as well as the external, your sales, pre-sales or customers or project teams. Then we have a product backlog. We have multiple ideas. We need to come up with the, some product backlog here. We need to plan our sprint, sprint. We have to plan our quarter roadmap, annual roadmap. Then once this is done, we will be coming with the documentation part where we have multiple documentation we are going to cover. Like we have a business requirement document, we have functional requirement, we have product requirement document, we are going to with wireframing, many other things will come in this one. Then once we have a documentation, we will must go for the knowledge sharing. We already covered this market research, requirement gathering product backlog, documentation, but whatever the information we have collected, that information related to product, what we are going to develop, that we have to share the knowledge to the respective team development as well as the other uh, stakeholders who is going to work on this product development. Once this is done, we will move it to the coding and the QA testing, uh, where we will do the product development and then we will be coming with the testing, end-to-end -end testing for this particular product. Once this is all done, then we are going for the product deployment or can say product launch. So this product launch is done. We will go with the maintain, evolve. And uh, once this uh, maintenance is there, we also, what we are going to do, we also taking the feedback from the end users, who is actually the user for this particular product. And we will plan for the improvement. And what we see, this complete cycle will keep going on. Now uh, we have PDLC that is for uh, product manager specific. We saw in the previous slide that is very generic and uh, here we are going to deep dive into it. We are going to uh, start with idea generation. So the idea generation is the key point for any product manager for doing any product development, 
new feature addition so that all come through some ideas and how those ideas will come that uh, what we are preferring we are always going with the internal sources and the external sources when i say internal sources you have r d team you have uh, your sales pre-sales and uh, you have operational teams similarly you have external sources like your end customers your end users your uh, vendors market competitors and uh, one more thing which i would like to add here that is your social forms social forum what they are actually helping you uh, we get more lots of information here like we have a medium.com we have indie hacker we have uh, micro acquire so there are many other platform available here which will help us to come with lots of information and uh, we also using some techniques that uh, like competitive analysis we are using gap analysis and many other are available then next comes as a product backlog so we have lots of ideas but we cannot start with those ideas for the development we cannot push our teams for the development purpose so what we are going to do we are going to see multiple factors here how it is going to help to my business how it is actually giving business values what is uh, helping into the business revenues who is actually going to be benefited what is my target audience so this is the one level second what we are going to talk what is my technical strength what is my bandwidth and uh, current bandwidth what are the backlog items coming and also we are going to check with the feasibility analysis we are going to have a multiple discussions set of discussions with your architects technical leads uh, many other people we are doing so then once this is all done then we are coming with the proper product backlog and uh, that we are defining in a sprint wise quarterly wise or annual wise but how these are the things we are defining that is through our prioritization techniques so in this prioritization we are going with the kano model we are using the techniques as a uh, moscow we are using complex value metrics and we also seeing uh, how it is easy and how it is actually difficult the multiple metrics that we are using here and that all help us to come up with the product backlog items and uh, once this is all done and uh, we have set up plan available now we'll more proceed for the documentation and visualization so documentation we are preparing business requirement brd document we are preparing product requirement document functional document and uh, we are uh, uh, coming with the visualization preparing flow charts wire framing many other things we are doing here and uh, similarly we have one level of uh, that uh, KPIs, a key performance indicator. This is very much required when we are working on the uh, product uh, planning design part. So in this, we are seeing what is the success metrics, what, how we can say this product is successful. What are the metrics we need to measure, quantify, quality, uh, quantitative, qualitative? That everything we are going to uh, jot down here, and we will move to the next level that is a product development and the release plan so this is what we said here we already doing the engagement with multiple stakeholders in this we are engaging ourselves with the development team qa team and uh, we are keeping the track of all the product development new feature development and seeing like uh, are we on track as per the committed release plans so that everything we are going to track here and uh, when i say about the release plan so it is not like we say okay within a month we will give it after two days we will give it or two weeks we will give it so we are going to use some of the techniques we are as per our experience that we are going to communicate the plan that we usually say release plan when we are going to launch the product what is the eta so that all will come here we also using the mvp here minimum viable product so what is the least uh, what is the uh, feature which is required to start with and uh, so that all will come uh, in the release plan so we need to split the work we need to split our user stories and then we plan for the mvp and uh, one thing which i usually prefer that uh, i'm using the burn up chart where i'm seeing what is my story points and uh, how many sprints i took to deliver it so that actually will help me to define my ETA and also I am going to see my current uh, uh, backlog which is coming from the previous sprint. So those also I am seeing what is my technical strength, what is my resource uh, strength. So that is uh, we are going to see and we are defining the release plan. So 
Once this is all done, we are going to have a cross functional engagement with product development and testing. And uh, in this, uh, this is all complete stakeholder management we are doing. And uh, once this is uh, product is developed and move for the QA testing and uh, testing is successfully completed, then we will plan for the product launch. So, so the thing is, product launch is not like uh, just uh, we are ready and we are moving into the production. The thing is here also we need to keep uh, aware uh, to all the end users. We should have uh, some proper documentation. We should have a release note. We have a user manual which actually going to help to the end user how to use this product. And we have to announce it much prior to it. Like they should be uh, have a clear transparency on the launch. So this is also we need to measure. And also we uh, as a product manager, we are uh, working with the uh, with the deployment team. Uh, so we also should be up to date. Okay, all are going smooth and they should be aware about uh, the features which is going to do and we will be doing some validation that we will assess the team. Then we have a success metric. Let's say when the product launch is done, we will come up with the success metric where we are going to quantify. Okay, quality. Uh, we are going to check the quality of my product. We are going to check as per the plan, what we have decided to come with the new feature, new product, how it is performing. So how we are going to measure it. So this is a key responsibility of us to see the performance, see the measure, see the metric, how my product is accepted by end users. So those are all the metrics which we are going to use here. So here we will talk about the success metric means how much uh, engagement we have on this particular product, how my uh, conversion rate. So that all comes into this that we will go in detail in the real when we are talking about the uh, problem solving scenario. Then uh, customer user feedback here we are talking about the uh, we are going to take we are going to take feedback from the end users and we are uh, getting their experience, how they are actually liking our product and what improvement they're looking for. What are the features we can go with it, which that again, this is again going to help us as the ideas. OK, so then once these all our ideas coming, we focus on the continuous improvement and this again, this complete cycle keep going on. So this is the complete PDLC as a product manager point of view. Here we have a daily life of as a product manager. So how it is starting? It is starting with the idea generation. So the first point, we always keep thinking about ideas, ideas, ideas. And those things will come with the multiple sources, which I said in the previous slide. And uh, when we have hundreds of ideas, but we cannot move for the development or we cannot assign to any development team to take, okay, uh, you can start working on it. So before this, we are going with the feasibility check. We are going to have a talk with the architects, seeing the complexities and even uh, we are also checking who all are going to benefit it that all we are going to capture all information we are preparing a business plan we are preparing a business case and that we are pre presenting to our leadership and we are mentioning okay this is my idea and what is my target audience who all are going to benefit it and uh, what uh, will be the revenue plan so that all we are going to present and once it is accepted from the board from the management and leadership then we will go with the product backlog we are going to re, uh, def, re, refining it we are going to tell about okay this is my quarter plan this is my annual plan or sprint plan and uh, we will not take again immediately we have to see how much this complicated and which is low hanging and ha giving a higher value to the customer to our end user that we can take uh, on we can actually consider in our sprint immediate sprint and we also see what are the backlog are coming from the previous sprint that we are going to see and is there any customer expectation where we have already given some commitment to customer so those all the factors we are going to check so once this uh, prioritization is done we have defined our sprint plans we have defined uh, the priorities and prepare all the documentation that we have done then we will come on the execution where I'm going to work with the, the development team, with the testing team, with the deployment team, who is actually going to develop, going to do the end-to-end -end testing. And also uh, one thing I want to highlight here that we also connected with the stakeholders uh, and users uh, specifically for UAT, user acceptance testing. We have done the development, we have done the QA testing. Now uh, there are the, some folks where we need their acceptance. like. 
this is the feature which we are developing also uh, and as per the uh, initial agreement as per the initial requirement we have come up with this solution so once this is all done we will plan for the deployment and then uh, once this deployment is done we will move for the feedbacks and improvements and this feedbacks and improvement is again the uh, we are uh, interacting with multiple stakeholders getting their inputs feedbacks and uh, suggestions on the product and there we are talking about their experiences and this cycle keep going on problem solving what do's and don'ts so when you have a problem statement and uh, end user or the customer they are looking for some solution on their problem they are looking for some product so the first thing the one of the best approach is you come up with why why to develop you clarify your all the doubts why you are looking for this solution or why you are looking for this product development you get all the clarification from them i don't recommend talk on what what to develop means you agreed without knowing anything you started development okay so the thing is you should ask why it is required then the second comes primary goal see you have a problem you have a problem statement you have pain points but what is the outcome you are going to achieve what is the primary goal what if i say in other term what is the success metric what is it your business growth is it your uh, your engagement or it is your process improvement related so that you clarify it and uh, the, here is don't jump to the solution directly next your customer is your hero you are not a hero as a product manager i'll not say we are hero we are doing something for our end customer we are doing we are serving we are giving the feature we are giving a product which is going to give value to the end customer so customer is the end user we need to be connected with the customer we need to know what their problem statement what is the pain point of them we are enabler for them we are the facilitator for them and we are coming with the product which is going to help to the customer success journey and uh, here i will uh, you does not come with your own assumptions means when you are coming with the product development requirement gathering or any planning so you always engage with yourself with the customer get to know what they are looking don't work in a isolated and uh, your own assumptions being transparent so what you are developing keep connected with the customer coming with the wireframes coming with the flow charts get their uh, get their feedback so this is uh, i prefer to go with a transparent way instead of going or working in a closed room okay you started development didn't you didn't ask anything you didn't actually talk to the end user or the customer or the you have not seen the market and just simply de developed it what is actually going to help if it is reaching to the customer customer will say oh this is not required i didn't ask anything related to this so best thing is you be transparent keep connected with your end users with your user hero and the last is your define kpis you define your quantitative you come up with the qualitative that all the metrics key performance indicators you define instead of and i also recommend when you are defining your kpis you consider your feedbacks all the stakeholder discussions so that all to be taken care of here but if you are ignoring it yeah so then you are not on the right side here we have a problem solving steps so this problem solving is going to help you for any new product development or you have a customer engagement for developing new feature or if you have any upcoming interviews and uh, you uh, your hiring manager will come up with some business case or behavioral questions uh, coming with some problem statements and ask you to give some solution on it so this is going to be benefited to you so how you are actually approaching for the solution for these problem statements so first point which i always said you come up with the why and uh, uh, you have here your step one which is saying okay understand the problem statement you clarify you ask what is your problem statement what you are looking for and be on the same page there should not be any devi deviation in your understanding with the hiring manager of your customer or any other stakeholder then uh, the second comes your clarifying your questions how you were doing till now means this is your problem statement but uh, before that how you were managing managing it who is going to be benefited what are the 
uh, you are going to uh, is it any specific to particular location or how uh, uh, means who, who is the audience that all the questions you are going to ask here then you are also going to talk, talk about the primary goal this is related to your business growth your user engagement user acquisition or you are talking about the process improvement second comes your step two which is related to understand your user target audience who is your target audience or uh, where we are calling as define your user persona so we are, what we are going to talk here we are going to create reliable and realistic presentation representation of your key audience uh, key audience segment for your reference and like uh, who is your target user who is going to facing this problem and of, of whom we are going to develop this particular product or solution we are going to do so that we are going to define here so this is the thing first you are going to understand the problem statement clarifying all your doubts then the second you are coming with your defined user persona third what we what i recommend here you come up with the pain point see you are knowing the problem statement you know that your user your target audience now you are going to jot down all the problem statement here what i see you uh, discuss with the uh, end user or customer or your hiring manager and to know you can bring your thought and in a mutual agreement okay these are the pro okay what what is the pain point you can also ask are you look are you seeing this type of uh, issues so we both have mutual understanding here then once the pain point is done then we will come up in the solution description so the thing is we know the end user we know the problem statement we know the pain points now we are coming with the solution description and in the solution description my solution should resolve at least the pain point which was raised okay so those all the pain points should be resolved then we will be going with the minimum viable product so here what we are talking we are not going to give a complete solution in a one go okay so it may take many months to complete it so the best approach is which is can be delivered in short span of time so we will come up with the mvp okay so i know this is the problem statement these are the pain points but with this particular feature we actually start the work start the release means we can actually release the product we can give the first shippable item okay and uh, we will be prioritizing the rest of the all the activities and then we uh, so this is all because uh, when i said we will be having the discussion even if we have a uh, uh, if we are talking on the interviews with the hiring managers so they will actually give a problem statement you will come with this all the points you will clarify your all the points you clarify your persona you will clarify your pain point then you are coming with the solution description then your hiring manager also will ask you okay tell me uh, this everything you have written now tell me what is your mvp so you have to tell if you have come up with the 10 15 i solution description points but what points you are going to take for the development your first release because customer cannot wait longer it means we are not following waterfall model here okay so we are following agile so here what uh, uh, what is best which we can deliver on a short span of time we are going to define prioritization so they will also ask you what what are the point what are the user stories you are going to prioritize it that you are going to cover once this is all done then you are coming with the step six that is they will ask you okay what is your success metric success metric is your quantifiable uh, data or metric which will define your product success uh, means it will determine uh, your product is successful or it is not accepted by anyone so example include conversion rate churn rate then you have a monthly recurring uh, revenue so that all your success met then we have a north star metric we have what we are talking about we are uh, talking about the most predictive of a company long-term success uh, to qualify a north star metric a metric must be having a three major things like your revenue uh, you have reflect customer value and measure progress so we need to define your north star metric and the finally your uh, uh, hiring manager or your end customer they may ask okay fine this is all clear what are the upcoming releases what you are planning means at, they are trying to see your vision okay you have problem statement but how you are coming with your roadmap so that is again uh, if you are able to convey your product roadmap it is uh, very good for, uh, for a product manager
so we have seen the all the steps means as one of the approach which i suggested that is uh, steps uh, to approach a problem solving that we have seen in the previous slide now what is the thing is we have received one problem statement and uh, from end customer and user or your uh, hiring manager if you are in an interview so the thing is you understand your problem statement what they are asking for and my suggestion to go interactive keep them engaged okay what you are thinking how your idea processing is how your thought process is going so you keep them engaged you share if you are working on ms word or you are using ppt or you are using any other format so you share your screen and keep adding all the points okay this is your uh, query this is your problem statement i have some set of couple of clarifying questions i want to clarify it and then you will come up with your persona okay this is your user persona then you are going to come up with the user journey then you are coming with the uh, solution description and you are re approaching to the matrix success matrix that everything which you are going to do better you share your screen and show what you are doing uh, don't i'll not say you think and uh, you wrote, write something on your paper and you are going to speak so what, what will happen if you are taking 10 minutes to write something so they will be become ideal and my suggestion is uh let them see how you are approaching to the solution okay yes now we will move for the uh scenario here we have a problem statement okay so what is the problem statement here we need to develop a healthcare application and uh, what is the objective to have this uh, how people will find a doctor doctor search we can say so before we dive into it we ask a couple of clarifying questions so first of all uh, what what will be my question is why you want to build this product okay what is your objective to have this one and uh, when i said doctor search what do you mean about the doctor is it the medical doctor or is there any other uh, uh, welfare or any other sort of care services okay then we what we are going to do uh, what is the primary goal of this application is this process improvement increase in revenue engagement or retention uh, of those patients how are you currently managing the work and processing processes so it might be uh, they have uh, some uh, help desk where the uh, patients are coming but there was no actually proper customer care or web services web portal available so and then you are going to ask about what are the pain points to be solved by this application so that uh, if um, they can suggest it is well and good and otherwise the thing is you can also uh, come up with your assumptions you can say okay these are the pro uh, pain points okay it might be uh, uh, they are the relocated uh, people who are looking for a doctor nearby place so you can actually come with those pain points then who all are going to use this application so here what we are going to talk about we are going to see the user persona we are going to see okay what age category they are looking for what the ge geography we are doing to talk okay so we are looking we are going to deep dive into the target audience and uh, as i said what is the location or geography to be covered means it might be a one complete uh, country level it can be a state level or city level or particular location okay so that all the clarifying question you should ask don't jump I, i'll not say okay they said okay come with the healthcare application and you started for the development uh, without knowing the fact okay so in the previous slide what we saw now uh, we were talking about the why and we are clarifying the uh, problem statement we were coming with a couple of uh, clarifying questions and uh, getting their inputs from the uh, requester uh, who were coming with the problem statement right so so why this application is required uh, the first point is doctor search means we have patients we have caretaker who is looking for uh, some consulting who is looking for some medical uh, uh, medical advice or they are into emergency so they should be able to reach to a web application or my product where they can actually search the doctor they can see based on the category specialties and their profiling and based on that they can do the appointment but when i say how they were doing earlier they might be doing they were not having any application all the patients and the caretaker they were coming directly to the hospital be in queue 
taking appointment and going for the consulting so it was like lengthy process and many times it is not clear whom i am going to interact and from whom we are going to take the appointment might be the other doctors or might be that specialty is not available okay so that uh, we have got the answer we are looking for a doctor search second is if suppose uh, the patient or the caretaker they are landing onto this web application they should be able to book the appointment okay then we have a maintaining the medical records so in this we are talking about the medical records keeping the patient history keeping the uh, doctor profiling so it is going to help to everyone means help desk ng help desk person can uh, see the patient history and uh, assign to the respective uh, doctors same way doctors also can see okay this patient has already visited what was the past history of this patient how was the health condition what prescription was given so that is the medical history we will be uh, keeping in it then we have a primary goal in this primary goal we are talking about the patient engagement so uh, patients or the caretaker should land onto my web application they search the doctor and do the booking so means and booking of the appointment so we need engagement of them second is uh, if the patient has already visited and they are looking for the follow up consulting so they can revisit it so these are my primary goals okay then the, uh, we also ask about one of the question like okay what is the geography or location you are going to cover okay so we uh, came up with the saying okay uh, it is a bangalore location so they are currently focusing on the bangalore city and in this all over the nearby people they can reach to this hospital and take the consulting and go for the diagnosis and medical services so whatever we are discussing here like we discussed on the step 1 step 2 step 1 we were talking about the Uh, clarification related then we are talking about the user persona so basically how it is happening when we are having the interaction with the customer or end user or hiring manager especially when i talk about the hiring manager we are into an interview so there is a very limited time within 30 minutes you have to come up with the plan see we can go very detailed we can come up lots of things we can add multiple things into the product but within a very short period within 30 minutes if they are coming with the problem statement and uh, on spot we have to come up with some solution so we need to come up with the approach how we are reaching to the solution so the solution is not like we are coming with the exact expected solution might be the hiring manager is different uh, thinking differently and we are coming uh, with the different approach but the thing is how is my thought process so we discussed about the problem statement now we are moving to the user persona here so user persona what it is it is the key audience segment or can say this is your target user who is going to use this particular product or since it is my health application so this health application is going to use by uh, these all the users so first who is here the patient patient is uh, your uh, the person who is looking for a doctor for consulting for some uh, medical related issues and uh, they will take the appointment and uh, visit or come for the consulting next we have doctor so doctor is the again we have a one more because he is going to uh, see the patient history knowing more about the patient and uh, keeping the records for the further future preferences so the second uh, user who is going to be benefited with it that is doctor then we have caregivers or caretakers so these are uh, coming or they are landing to the web application or this healthcare application for doctor search for whom for their close relatives or who is not well so they are taking appointment for on behalf of their relatives or close members then we have a hospital staff or can say help desk users so these are the users going to use the doctor information they are going to use the patient records medical records 
for the further users like they are going to assign to the respective team or processing it for some uh, consulting or scheduling or doing some follow-ups okay then we have an insurance company so sometime what happens is we always uh, see uh, uh, this patient has come up with some particular reason and visited to hospital and it is a major major uh, disease which requires some insurance company assistance so that insurance companies also will look into the doctor profiling customer patient information and what prescription is given so that also we can consider here as a one of the user persona so but majorly if i say uh, we have patients we have doctors caregivers hospital health desk users or staff hospital staffs who has this access We have seen about the problem statement in the previous slide. What, what is the primary goal? Why we are looking for this application? We also identified the user persona, who all are the target users, key audience. Then we have pain points. So mainly if I'm looking for a doctor search application, uh, the main, uh, the reason it may could be uh, due to relocation, uh, family or a person relocated from one city to other city and they are looking for uh, doctors or hospitals nearby then the second is uh, they are the patient who is having a recurring care who is looking for a recurring care and they are looking for a doctor for their uh, specific disease or some uh, advisory or consulting then we have a uh, one set of group uh, who is actually not satisfied with the, uh, the current doctor experience. They have experience with the current, which they didn't, uh, the consulting or uh, medical uh, care was not in their favor and they are looking for a new doctor, uh, which is nearby for them. Then uh, there's other scenario, the problem statement comes, the, uh, the user, uh, let's say your uh, caregiver, or your patient they are trying to search a doctor nearby location with some specific specialty but they're feeling uh, it is complex how it is they are not getting the no appropriate doctor information profiling they are getting the false reviews they are getting uh, false ranking because of uh, aggregators there are uh, some bias search uh, comings because many of the people using seos and uh, the nearest hospital information is not coming they are not getting the proper doctor profiling for doing some book um, for doing some appointments and they also uh, the uh, search is not that much effective to get the re relevant doctor information to take the appointment there's many other scenarios where we are looking for the appointment it, it could be a reason where uh, the patient is not able to visit to that particular hospital and they are preferring to take the services online. They will take the appointment and take the consulting on online. And uh, they are okay to pay the services. They are okay to pay the fees uh, online through the payment gateway. So there are many other, re many of the pain points which we can fulfill here. Great, so we have reached to the solution description. So what was the ask uh, to do the doctor search and do the appointments, okay, for the patient. So uh, as per the plan, what we are going to come up with, we are planning to come up with the One Health Care web application and that uh, is expected to be on public network. So we can actually do the search. We can reach to this particular web application. How we are going to reach? To the Google search, we can apply and uh, we can apply to the social media or we can go with the direct uh, visiting to this particular website web application so currently this is the plan what we have then we that uh, caregiver or patient will land to this particular web application website and uh, once it they are landing so uh, they will be having the complete detailing on the doctors profiling specialty what facilities are given by this uh, this hospital so that is all and the next what we will have the account registration and sign up so the expectation is who is landing to my website or web application he should do the sign up okay 
or uh, the uh, caregiver or the patient on behalf of the patient, uh, they should do the sign up. But in case if they are not doing the sign up, they're just coming to this particular website and going back or moving to the, any other website. It means it is a bounce rate for them or for the hospital. OK, then once the sign up is done, so the expectation is we should have a doc doctor search. So doctor search means initial way means as per the MVP, what we are planning, we will keep doctor search a basic search where we can apply with the, some categories like what is the specialty we are looking for that or uh, some review, some ranking based search we can provide. OK, so we can easily find out the uh, expected doctor information. Then later on what we are going to plan, then we will plan about the cognitive search where we can perform some AIML based search. Uh, where we can go uh, with the patient history and give some suggestions. And uh, we also come up with the online support. There are many of the cases uh, patient uh, is not interested just because the hospital is very far and uh, caregiver uh, is not able to bring the patient to the hospital because of the C some reason. So the expectation is we can actually uh, bring the online support, online consulting. Then we can move for the AI based chat, chat uh, bot. So here uh, we can uh, allow the end user like your patient or the caregiver. They can perform some chat. Uh, they can apply some chats and get some responses from these bots. So these are the plan which we can actually bring into the product solution and into the roadmaps. Then we have a fee details and available slots. So let's say we got the doctor information that is uh, matching with my need or my uh, for the patient so uh, i'll be going with the fee details and seeing the available slots what are the slots available for this doctor so then i'll be uploading some documents supporting document that uh, we will be keeping uh, uh, like if we have some medical information available if i have any other doctor prescription available that we can upload here then we have option what we can actually suggest the option we can allow the patient or the caregiver a fee payment online or we can give the option if they want in presence when they are coming to the hospital they can pay the, pay the fees once this is all done we can uh, give an option to submit this appointment so once this appointment is submitted it means it is confirmed for the selected slot Apart from this, so what we have covered, we have searched the doctor, we have done the appointment, and the next is we are looking for the prescription, medical records, patient history, that all information. So this is going to be helped by all the help desk uh, users of hospital, hospital staff members, nurses, or whoever are actually going to use this application, doctors, they can actually access this all the information. Even uh, we can also give the access of these, some of the information to the end user, your uh, caregiver or the patient. So they can also see, okay, uh, what prescription was given earlier and who, uh, which doctor consulted, what are the medicines or some past history, this patient also can see from this web application. So we can give, we can define what level of information we can show to doctor and what level of information can be shown to the end user. Then we have a doctor ranking and attended patients. This is a one of the metric which we can actually plan. Yeah, we are going to cover the some success metrics. We are going to cover the not star metric in the upcoming slide. But yeah, what we are planning, we can actually give, we can encourage uh, your uh, patients, caregivers about the doctor's experience. They can, they can give their reviews. They can give the ranking to those doctors, so which can ha be had benefited by other patients. And uh, here we also can see, okay, this particular doctor, how many patients he has attended or she has attended, okay? And we are giving the C set. The C set actually going to be connected with the doctor performance or even for the hospital experience. This is all is the one part of our solution description. Nice. So we have reached two MVP minimum viable product. So in the previous slide, what we have seen, we have seen the solution description and we were talking about some user stories, which is required for this particular product. But the thing is, we need an MVP, which can be delivered in short span of time. And that should have a basic feature where we can start with. Okay. 
So the first point comes as a user registration, user uh, like patient or the caregiver, they can do the registration on this web application by submitting their information, okay? Then the second comes as an RBAC, your role-based access control. We are defining the role, we are defining the privileges. Doctor can access this level of information. Insurance company users can access this level of information. Patient can access only their own information, okay? Then we are coming with the doctor profiling. We are going to list all the doctor information. We are giving their information related to experience, their uh, specialty, that all information we are going to give. Then we are coming with the doctor search. Here we are going to give a basic search, okay? We talked about the cognitive and many other things we were talking, but as an MVP, we are, we are coming with the doctor basic search, okay? So what we will take, we will take uh, search by name, search by specialty, search by experience, or uh, by rating or ranking then once we have doctor information available we will go with the available slot so doctor is available once in a week twice in a week or how he is actually uh, available in this uh, for appointment purpose so we will get the slot and do the booking okay here uh, again one more thing i want to highlight we are not talking about the payment why because as per the mvp the expectation the basic core feature which we are planning to give user can uh, land to this particular application they can do the search they can do the booking by getting the available slots that's it okay so payment they can uh, online payment we can plan in the upcoming releases and the last one which we were talking about the patient history medical records so this information we can actually provide for the doctor purpose so for initially what we can actually plan okay so patient history we need and doctor actually can go through with the past history and uh, they can see about the what prescription was given what med medicines was given what uh, uh, how the health condition or what available, available uh, reports medical reports that all he can see so this is all my mvp yeah, so we have reached to the success metric, which we can say key performance indicator, which actually determine the performance of my web application, my, which I'm working that healthcare uh, web application for doing the doctor search. And in this, uh, we need to see how my application is performing. And uh, I'm actually going to see uh, what is the acceptance rate from the end users. So first, what we are going to talk uh, that is a north star metric so north star metric is what uh, we has mentioned in the previous one it is the one of the most predictive measurement uh, which is giving the company's long term success okay if i talk about uh, what north star metric or who other uh, applications are using let's say for facebook they are talking about the time spent actively by engaging with feed if i talk about the amazon purchase per prime subscriber and if i say about the netflix or youtube watch time per subscriber okay so this is the uh, some north star metric similarly i could found some of the metric here for north star that is a number of appointments per month as if i go back to my primary goal uh, where we were talking about the engagements we were talking about the uh, booking appointments so we identified this is the my north star metric number of appointments per month second is average patient attended by doctor per month so this is actually i'm seeing my doctor performance okay then we can divide into multiple metrics categories so i also recommend when you are going to split it you can go and you think as a business perspective user perspective and the technology purpose perspective so business perspective, what we are talking here, we are talking about uh, number of patients registered in a month, number of appointments done, number of revisit, this is a follow-up, means we are retaining them, okay? They didn't go to any other uh, medical or hospital or any other web applications related to healthcare. Then we have number of visit on medical web application, which we are developing. So if I see 1000 people actually visited in two days and the good thing if uh, we are getting 800 person are getting registered, it is a very good response which we are getting on this product. Okay, 
Then is user experience metrics where we are talking about the doctor search. Let's say uh, if I'm giving a doctor information, I'm giving some specialty, I'm trying to search with some uh, experience. If I'm getting the information in first search, first page only, it is good. My search is working very good. And uh, if suppose I keep moving to the next page and uh, moving till the last page and could not get the proper result, it means my search could not work effectively. Then we have technology metrics. So in this technology metrics, what we are going to talk about uh, here, majorly we are talking about the monitoring of this web application. See, we have given this application. Okay, now we are going to talk about if a patient or caregiver or doctor, any, any other user trying to reach to this particular application, if it is slow, so it is not good, right? So we are going to check medical web application availability first my available should be up and running we are talking about 24 by 7 my application is running if suppose my application is not reachable and uh, trying to reach and it is not loading so what i'll do i'll move to any other application i'll this is very bad feedback we are going to get it so technology uh, wise first is availability second is medical web application page load time let's say i have uh I reach to this particular website on the public network through uh, by giving the URL. But uh, when I'm loading this, uh, the doctor search is taking lots of time or can say, um, I'm not able to get the, all the information. If I'm doing some booking that it is taking lots of time. So what, so this is a very bad experience means I'll not, means my retention, my end user will move to any other application because of this bad experience. Then we will talk about the doctor search time. If suppose I'm giving the doctor uh, name and or I'm giving the specialty and trying to search. If it is taking some time to bring that result, again, uh, this is a load time or search result is taking time. Then uh, we can actually come up uh, with the patient record retrieval time. So again, my doctor is actually having that discussion with the patient and trying to search the record. Uh, what has happened? Uh, the patient is sitting in front of him. And when he's trying to search, that information is not coming. As per the doctor perspective, it is not good. The application is not working effectively. Okay. So there are lots of metrics we can bring. Okay. Uh, and uh, to consider and to determine how my application is performing. Okay. So we have reached to this uh, product roadmap. This is our last slide. So the plan is uh, when we are having the interaction with the end user and especially when I'm uh, in, into this interview or with the hiring manager. So within the shortest span of time, how best you can come up. Okay, they have some limited slot in that if you are following some approach, sequential approach to reach to the solution, that is the one and the hiring manager is always expecting from your side. So. I came up with this, this roadmap. So basic search we already given. Now we are coming with the cognitive doctor and patient search where we are going to perform. We are coming with some AI ML capability. We are coming with some algorithm. So we can give a result, okay, smart result here. Then we will have a chatbot assistant. Here we can actually reduce the staff member effort. We can actually give a chatbot where a uh, patient or a caregiver, they will give they will try to search some information they are trying to get some information they can uh, follow this chatbot and get the response then in the previous mvp we were saying payment gateway we could not enable in the mvp so that payment gateway we can enable in this next release so this is what uh, in the online when i reach to this doctor i identified the doctor i'm going for the appointment and that time i can actually have an option to the payment online then we can have a doctor rating and the attended patient this uh, c set information which i was talking the doctor rating related the c set related feature we can actually bring it here so if you see when we were talking about the solution description the same type of points we are actually connecting and these all are connected with your pain points and uh, we can give the insurance related facility here. We can also suggest for the online consulting. This is our upcoming plan. So currently what we developed, uh, people, uh, patients or the caregiver, they are visiting to the hospital and then they are getting the consulting from the doctors. And we can actually future, we can plan 
for the online consulting and there are many other re, uh, uh, roadmap items we can add here so this is all for today hope uh, you actually got lots of information from here and uh, i must say please if you like please uh, click on the hit button like button and subscribe this uh, career talk thank you so much